Hot damn, look at that outfit. How many DMs? Like 10, 20. And? Who are you gonna go on a date with? <laughs> None of them. None of them. <laughs> How about if they leave a poem in the comments? No! The best poem gets a date with her, and I'll pay for it. <laughs> All right, today's starting budget, minus $20 to stay here. It actually got cheaper. Breakfast was $5. We got $25 to go explore Thailand. Good job. Oh, my brother. Good to see you, brother. All right, here we go. This ain't the cheapest way to get around. The best way is always a taxi with meter, but yep. that's fine. You see how cozy we are in the back of this tuk-tuk? This could oh, be yeah. you if you just dropped a beautiful oh, poem. Oh my god! <laughs> the best poem will get to experience this. Oh. Oh, he's cute! Daniel! Daniel! Whoa, stop it! Oh. Someone just <laughs> said... Christian sent me. <laughs> so that was about a dollar per person. So this is something you find all over Thailand. It's their smoothies. For sure, they add sugar, but they're coconut smoothies. Hello. Hi. Can I do a coconut smoothie? Hey, ma'am. Yeah. Yum. There was so little coconut. Okay. There's like this much coconut. We saw them make it. The rest is condensed milk, and it tastes so good. Wow, that's actually fire. It's just like a nice milky treat with a little bit of coconut umami to it. One dollar. Hello. Uh, for a foreigner? Yeah. Okay. Oh uh, no, now I'm really giving away my outfit. Welcome back, if you've been watching my channel for a while, to Wat Arun. This is actually the first temple that I ever visited in Thailand, all the way back when I was just a 21 year old. And this is one of the places where I first experienced the Thai architecture, and even to this day, it's still equally stunning. This is kind of like the budget way to get the King's Palace experience. So on the other side of the water, literally right across from us, I think the King's Palace is like a thousand baht, whereas this one's only 100. And you pretty much get a very similar experience. What I'm loving so much about this trip is just like the nostalgia. So much of the places I'm visiting and revisiting are just like seeing it for the first time because it's been so long. But while these places are still the same, my life has completely changed. Over the last seven to eight years, I've gone from being a clueless, young, immature, and broke backpacker to today having a pretty good grasp of where I want to take my life. And I feel very blessed to be able to say that. I feel very fortunate. Even putting myself in the younger Christian's shoes, I remember being here and being confused and even scared of what the future held, knowing that I was going back to an accounting job that I despised. So much has changed, mostly for the better, but definitely a lot more responsibility than ever before. I'm not the backpacker that just could show up and have only one thing to think about. You know, this morning I had to start off with four or five hours worth of work, just catching up on emails, getting ready to launch the Creator Challenge, which is just about ready to go live. I'm so excited to share that with you guys. It's basically like the blueprint to how to go from being completely lost to being right on track. 10 videos, it completely annihilates all of the most common reasons you can't do it money, skill, confidence on camera, every single one of these fears are broken down. And I promise you, if you take it, you will get 10,000 views within 10 videos. It's literally a money back guarantee. That's how confident I am. Life is not the same, but I'm so grateful to be onto this next chapter and yet still reliving one of my earliest chapters. So this was built in the 17th century. That's 70 meters tall. You used to be able to go almost all the way up, but not anymore. Back in my day. The decorated men look like they're having a Thai massage. That's literally how I looked in the Thai massage. The weather right now is so, so unpredictable, but one thing's for sure, that is a nasty storm cloud, but it's kind of nice right now. All right, so literally as we're leaving now, it's starting to rain, and right outside of Watarun, Right there's the exit. This is the pier, and for like, I don't know, 50 cents or something, we can cross over until the other side. Uh-oh, it's that time of the day. It's about to rain. You can see the pavement is leaking. Okay. Beautiful day on the Chow Phraya River. Look at that. Whoa, <laughs> these waves are actually insane. If you've ever seen a more inviting body of water than this, then comment down below. But I don't know about you, I just, just want to go for a dip in there. It's so inviting. It literally is struggling. Whoa, look at those fish. 
They're huge. We're on the wrong dock. Change up the dock. Apparently it's flooded on the other side. <laughs> Are we really doing this? Here we go. No. Christian. What? No. no. Christian, no. Christian. Christian. Go, Ruby, go. Oh my god, I made it. You got this. <laughs> That was like literally level one. Apparently it's the other side that's flooded, not this side. You're in LCA? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. What? Yeah. That's cool. <laughs> no way. Hey, bro. Actually, I saw that you were here at Bank Target. Just like, okay, what a crazy, crazy coincidence. Are you here on vacation then? Yeah, yeah. Just the uh, first time solo traveling, you know? Dude, nice to meet you. Yeah, you too, you that's too. Really dope. The plastic bags are done. All right. <laughs> you got this, Christian. Believe and you will achieve. Oh my god. <laughs> you did it! Okay, I see your technique. Hey, I know! Let me let me just tell you. This is gonna be the best investment you ever make. Uh, if he, ever. Uh, he's German. German. I was just telling your your lovely boyfriend. This is the best investment you'll ever make. I would know. It's stylish. You need to get the shirt to match. Oh, that's so sick. Literally try it. It's okay, fresh it's pomegranate. Right. Wow. So this is really cool, guys. They actually grind up the pomegranate right here. All right. So I was walking down the road and I just saw that. Memory lane, I used to order this all the time. I'm gonna give you something that you'll never forget. I don't like ice cream. What about coconut? Yeah. So you'll oh, half like it. I wanna have a mm -hmm. coconut ice cream. Ice cream is <laughs> Yeah. Thank you. You know it's fresh. Hands down the best coconut ice cream I've ever had in my life. Mm -hmm. This is amazing. Right? I used to get this all the time. <laughs> How did this taste? Whoa, that's crazy. Far away. Oh, yeah. This is too good to talk. Two dollars. I think what's so cool about Bangkok is that often if you're open-minded, it's not really the destination that matters. It's like you you see all these different street foods, you see all these little venues and things worth checking out, and next thing you know, what you thought would be one stop became like five. But the thing is, most people will walk by because they'll say, I can't eat that. It's gonna get me sick. It's not gonna be good. It's unusual. It's strange. But you have to try things because there's a lot of amazing food. Even me, I need to be more open. Like I'm eating the things that I'm comfortable with because it's nostalgic, but I need to break my own rules and just try some new things here. No, Ryan. <laughs> I'm not. That's for you. That's for you. I'm not eating the squid. <laughs> Guys, literally the flooding is carrying on to here too. So they've got these bags and they've got this platform to get into the restaurant. Wow, that's actually really surprising. This is like a specialty coffee. Look at it, it's all layered. Lucas was waiting for us to eat. I was just reminding him that in Southeast Asia, it's like unspoken. There's like different table etiquette. You do not wait for others to receive their food to start eating because you don't know if the next meal is coming out in, you know, a minute or whether it's gonna be half an hour or they straight up just didn't put your order through, which happens a lot. But it looks like our food's all coming out What's similar that? timing. This is Masaman curry and it's a must. You have to try this. It's a uh, peanut based. Ryan cannot try this. I'm excited. Stay away. <laughs> try it. We've got some jasmine rice. That is the Penang curry. Guys, this is really, really good. We asked for it mild. I would have liked a bit more spice, but they can tone it down for you. So even if you're afraid of like Thai curries and spices, it doesn't have to be bad. This is so, so delicious. If you're looking for your first entry level, like gateway curry, so you don't destroy your palate with like spices, Masaman is always a bit more of a creamy one. It's a peanut based one. So I really, really recommend that too. I'm digesting. So the damage, about $9 for a curry. The coffee was another three. So $12 on lunch, but to be fair, still on track for the daily budget, so it's all good. <laughs> I'm in danger. So I was really curious about the name. It turns out, this is a supaniga. It's that plant right there. Knowledge is power. The more you know. Chinatown? Chinatown, yeah. put it back, TV Uh It's 10 minutes away, less than that. It should be 100. Fever? Oh, 100. Yeah, it's only 10 minutes. All right. They literally just drive away and leave. 
If you're in a tourist area, good luck getting the meter. They won't do it. They are praying and waiting on people like us. Hey boss, Chinatown? 10, 10 minutes to Chinatown. 150. Can you do 100? It's 10 minutes away. Okay, 100. Wow, guys, look at this. So we've come for some late, late night street food and we thought everything would be closed, but uh, it's 11.30 and it looks like it is just going here. All these little street vendors, it's so cool. We had that today. It's your eggs water! Oh god. Fulfill your promise. No. Being in this area is literally the definition of sensory overload. Everywhere you look, everything you smell, so much is going on. You know it's gonna be good when you got the little red chairs. Oh, I got that one. Deep fried crispy pork with some rice. Guys, it came so fast. I know. We ordered literally like two seconds ago and it already came here. So you take your first bite. I might have to order another. We got back, we cleaned ourselves up after being out in the humidity. What are we doing tonight? We're actually gonna go out and like be young kids for once. Yeah? Yeah. We never party. No. But tonight we are. Ah, shit. Here we go again. Fan of the day. Yay! This is the worst thing that can happen to me. <laughs> Did you see that? First, go, 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 go. Okay, you're gonna go downstairs. <laughs>